Mother, when autumn chimneys whispered smoky promises to clouds, and crows like sooty kisses greeted trees, my mother pushed the sturdy pram on cushioned walks of sodden leaves and conkers ready for the string. At home the baby had its cosy cot, and I was laid to snuggle on the couch which she could claim the kitchen's concrete floor, cold cure for the curse I couldn't comprehend, and lay there with a wincing promise to survive. And so survive is what she did, through all my turbulence and storms, the riot contradiction of my wild becoming, the broken hearts, spilt dreams, dropped hopes and resurrection after every fall, she stayed with me, and held my hand when I would slap and push away, declare my hate for everything I loved, and my despising of the ones I really most admired. Until that day, in January 82, when darkness fell upon her like a shadow hand, and women weeping rang the hollow bell to tell a heedless world that it was done, and home was turned from nest to blackened bough. I sat beside her on the bed where earlier each touch was pain no kitchen floor could quell. I combed her hair, I stroked her brow, I wished her stay. But she was gone, and I was left to say goodbye, not once, but ever and a day.